It is already the third driest year on record. It's getting worse. Here's some perspective for you. On the left there is what our drought outlook was one year ago, and then on the right is today's outlook. You can see a lot more deeper red there, and the deeper the red, the more severe the drought. The latest drought outlook now shows that the entire state is experiencing some sort of drought. It is just another example of our climate in crisis. Tonight, we have team coverage on the drought and its potential impact. We start with Chief Meteorologist Jeff Ranieri. Jeff? And as we head through the next couple of months into summer, it really is going to be about all of us watching out for ourselves and our neighbors because it is just so bone dry out there uh, when it comes to that fire season. So let's get you the latest on those numbers. And you can see my drought map right now shows 52.86% of California in extreme drought. That's the new change. Again, the extreme drought is growing. Our rain season, a deficit of 8 to 21 inches. Our April 1st snowpack, most important snowpack of the year survey just 59 percent of normal la nina really contributed to a lot of this drying steering our storms well off to the north so here is the latest data look at the red color on my map and that's the extreme drought that's now grown over the north bay east bay peninsula and for most of the south bay so what does this mean well increased fire danger and when fires start a higher burn intensity because of how dry it is crop damage also trees starting to become stressed and and of course, this will mean pasture loss and river flow decreases. Again, the big, big news is that extreme drought is now growing across the state. I even think as we head through the end of summer, maybe even midsummer, we'll start to see some exceptional drought returning to the Bay Area. I'll have a check of our reservoirs. That's coming in about 15 minutes. Okay, thank you, Jeff. Well, as Jeff just told us, with no rain, real rain in sight, there's some worry about our water supply. So what can we do to help? There is a hint. You're supposed to be conserving. NBC Bay Area Scott Budman shows us what else you can do to help and why climate change means, unfortunately, this could be our new normal. Even a casual glance at Lexington Reservoir is enough to tell the story. Valley Water says it's barely half full and that we here in the South Bay are now in the midst of another drought. We have been in severe drought. Now portions of Santa Clara County are in extreme drought. Now, the good news is residents here have already been cutting water usage by 20% since the last drought, but lack of rain for two straight winters means more needs to be done. Uh, we're having to go out and buy emergency water from our partners, and we're also having to bring in water from our storage bank in the Central Valley just to make sure that we can meet demand. There is something we can do to save water and fight climate change at the same time. Here's something I can do in my own home. Landscaper and Mothers Out Front member Stephanie Morris says one big step is to replace your lawn with drought tolerant plants. They use a lot less water. The majority of water we use in our homes does actually go to landscaping if we have yards. So there's, you know, some standards say 50%, some say up to 70%. And while you're saving water, you can save some money too. Valley Water offers $2 a square foot to turn your lawn into drought tolerant plants. They'll pay up to $3,000 per household. In San Jose, Scott Budman, NBC. Bay Area News. Thank you, Scott. 